So today we're going to be looking at these Epacer Knox RGB memory kits, the DDR4, 3600 MHz, we've got a black version and white version, and they also do a laptop version as well. On the front of the box you've got a picture of the product itself with the RGB lighting up and showing it off. Obviously the black version has a black memory stick on it, the white one has a white one. It says it's the model number, it says gaming memory module. You don't have to be a gamer but obviously it usually caters for gamers with the flashing lights. Uh, it's RGB DDR4, it's got your RGB certifications at the bottom so you've got Aura Sync, you've got the Gigabyte one, you've got MSI and so forth. On the back of the box, there's not much to see, to be honest. It's multilingual, quite small writing, what is in English, but to be honest, it just basically says it's RGB memory. You've got little cutouts on there, which you have a limited field of view of the actual memory sticks. Otherwise, that's it. Inside the box is nice and simple. You've got two sticks of memory in each one, because obviously they're a kit and they're plastic wrapping. There is no instructions, manual, safety, or anything like that. That's all you get inside the box, which is pretty good. And I must admit, initial looks, the colours look quite good. I do respect Especially like the white, it really pops. So let's have a look at the memory itself. So the only difference between the two was obviously one's white and the other one's black, so down to preference. You've got these nice little stripes down there giving it a little bit of flair and it's got a bit of a texture to it the way this bit here is raised. You've got this diffused part at the top, that's where all your RGB lighting is going to be. It's got quite a wide angle to it, so if you're looking at the side you're going to be able to see it. If you're looking at it straight on you're going to be able to see it and again the other side. The only difference with the other side is it does have a label here with the specifications on and so forth. Obviously you could take that off if you didn't want it on there, but just bear in mind you'll probably void your warranty if you did. But otherwise it looks pretty nice to be honest with you, and I've got no complaints to be honest there. Just bear in mind it's quite tall. We'll put down in the notes exactly how tall it is, so if you have got a cooler which uh, is limited with space, it could potentially cause an issue. Okay, so we've got the memory set up on our NZXT based machine here, NZXT Z690 motherboard, uh, NZXT cooling and stuff, and you can see the memory fits in just fine with the NZXT stuff, so that's really, really good. One thing to note, we did find uh, the NZXT cam software does not like the RGB on the memory, but we did download Open RGB that did actually allow us to change the RGB effects on the memory. And we've also tested it on Gigabyte Asus motherboards with no issues. But that's just to bear in mind if you've got an NZXT motherboard, you may have to have a little bit of tweaking about. Now we are testing the memory using Eurosoft's PC Check UEFI, which is basically a software designed to test computer components. Now this is not software that you'd probably see a lot of reviewers and testers usually using because they actually have to pay for this. This is a proper tool what proper computer engineers use to test different components and parts inside computers. There's various different versions but just to give you a rough idea uh, we're just showing it there. Out to now it's passed all the tests but uh, we've only been running it for around about 10 minutes. Altogether we'll be running these um, tests for around about 48 hours hours because we want to make sure the memory does work and do does everything it says on the tin. Regarding speeds, obviously we got the 16 gigabyte kit, so that's two eight gigs uh, running at 3600 megahertz and it picked up exactly that straight away with the motherboard, uh, XMP profile picked up automatically and everything like that so you shouldn't really have any issues um, and all the clock speeds were fine as well on there the cache rating was 18 22 22 and so forth um, so you shouldn't have any issues but there you go it gives you a rough idea of some of the ways we actually test stuff properly rather unlike a lot of places what just use some free tools off the internet what well, haven't been updated in years so in conclusion, we've got some pretty good memory here. It allows us to even overclock it to 3800 megahertz with no issues at all. It's got a metal heat sink, or should I say aluminium heat sink, obviously to help get rid of some of that heat. To be honest with you, I've not really come across a RAM what really overheats yet, to be honest, but Still, the cooler it is, the longer your components will last. On top of that, you've got this diffused part across the top. That's for your RGB lighting, which looks really good. You can set it to whatever style you want, obviously, in your software or potentially BIOS, what you will use to actually control it, which is good as well. So what is the not to like about it? So if you can get this for a decent price, then, well, go get it. Looks good, performs good, does everything it should. I highly recommend it.
I hope you enjoyed that review, I know I did. If you'd like to see other Pacer products we've reviewed, then click this box up here. Or you could click this box here and see other memory products we have reviewed. Otherwise, we will see you next time, but don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below.